Okay, we're going to have a quick demo on how well the Erram picks up dust and fluff and fibres and, and what have you. Uh, as you can see here, the dust collectors are, uh, are empty. Uh, the filters are probably getting ready for a change, but uh, we'll look at that later. Let's put that, put that back in the Erram itself. Now, the, the carpet is last vacuum probably about five days ago, so it's getting ready for doing it again. Uh, we do have a, a little white jack rustle in the house, so there will be uh, some hairs on that carpet that you, you can't quite see. I mean, to, you know, to the eye it looks it looks clean, but we'll we'll just have a quick demo and see. Just give it a quick a quick once over. Okay, so that's just a quick flick. Let's see what that's that's picked up. There you go. So that's mainly dog hairs, fibre, dust. So this is why it's an idea to carry a um, a little background with you because it does pick up fairly quick, and you can just see there in a couple of minutes, you know, generated that much dust and. Some of that will be will be carpet fibers as well. It is quite um, quite abrasive on carpets, but uh, it certainly does the job at picking up. Okay, I'm just going to show you quickly how to change the filters in the uh, in the air ram. Um, it's a pretty good idea to pick up a, a spare set of um, the filter pads. They're reusable, rewashable, so. I mean, once you take these out, it's just as simple as, you know, give them a good, uh, good swilling out in the sink. But then you've got to obviously leave them to dry and it can take a day or two to, to get those to dry, perhaps leave them on a radiator or something like that. Um, but if you do buy um, a separate set, you can then put those straight back in and then you're good to go again. Um, so, I, you know, you do get a, um, like a little voucher code, I think, in the, um, in with the ARM for, Picking up another set fairly cheaply, they're not they're not that expensive to do it that way. So I'd advise to get some of those, but obviously that's up to yourselves. So obviously the filter pads are deep in in this plastic casing, so we just need to to use a coin just to turn this this slot ninety degrees to there. So we've got the little un unlock sign and just lift the lift the cover off, and there you can see the little filters in there. We'll just pull those off. That's the little slot goes just over that little raised edge, if you will. So you can see they're definitely getting ready for cleaning. So just give those a bit of a tap. Okay, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to give this a quick rinse under the, the tap uh, just to get rid of the last bits of dust. I mean, if you had a Perhaps a little paintbrush or something, you can just, just dab those dust through the holes there and that'll clean it out quite well. And I'm just going to run this in the tap and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all clean. We'll just dry this now with some paper towel. Okay, so we've pretty much dried this, uh, this cover 
you know. Um, one thing you can do if you wish, you, you do get some of these little, little scent sort of pads, if you will, uh, in with the, the air ram. Um, you know, you can pick these up quite inexpensively, again, with one of the, the little offers you get in with the air ram. They're just tucking the corners there. Um, you don't need to put these in it. It just it just makes a nice smell when you're going around the vacuum cleaner. Anyway, we'll put uh, put those back in. But when you put them in, you just need to be careful that the the little red sort of wall there goes down the the slot. Um, can be a little bit fiddly, but. Uh, Let's see how we go. Okay, that's one. So they're in place now. So we need to introduce that back over to that side. It's only going one way, so you'll soon know if you've got it wrong. But basically, the if you imagine this being like a U shape, the opening of the top of the U faces the uh, the holes in the in the case. So that's the way that goes. And then it's just as simple as just lock that in place again with your um, with your coin there. Just a little bit of water on that, but uh, but that's that. That's good to go. Uh, they recommend doing this every month. It's probably a, I would suggest that's a, a decent enough recommendation. Um, there is plenty of dust in those after um, after a month month use. So uh, yeah, so there you are. I thought that was helpful. Okay, I'm just going to show you quickly how to clean the the rollers on the the air ram. Um, you can. I mean, there are slots. Um, in, in the rollers there and you can run a pair of scissors um, down, down those slots and then kind of pull pull the hairs out. I mean I've got a daughter with long hair and it's, uh, it's forever getting wrapped up around this. Um, that, that's fine for the main roller but what you find is down these the ends of the rollers it, it gets wound up there like a uh, like a round disc of hair if you will so the easiest way I've found to to clean these out is just by removing the um, the caps on the end. So it's just as simple as a um, a small Phillips screwdriver. You got two screws. The longer one is at the back. And there's a short one at the front. That then that end piece just lifts up and off like that. You can then pull out the, the roller and there's the end piece that sits in there. And you see there's a, a ring of, of hair there. So just cut cut up the the roller, take that off. Um, Pull the hair off the end. It's under my daughter still has any hair left on her head with the way this uh, seems to collect it. So we get in there. Okay, pretty clean there now. That, uh, that just sits back in, in there, pushes back in, um, and then you're good to go. So you can just slide that back in, turn that so it so it locates, push it in, and, and that just sits back on on the end. Maybe just pull that out a little bit. Sit that in there. Push that back in. 
Okay, you need to fit your screws. You don't need to uh, go mad with these screws, just a, a little nip will do. It's very fine thread. And there you go, and then we just repeat that with the, the other side, just the, the other screws again, pull the side off exactly the same, just a mirror image of that one. Okay, so both rollers clean now. Um, so that's what was round the, the rollers. So it's amazing how it seems to collect uh, long hair. But, uh, there we go, so we're all clean.